Welcome to Global Awakening. This is Revivalist Apostle Michelle Morrison. Welcome. Welcome to the broadcast every Monday, folks, at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be on. We are praying and agreeing for God to bring revival to the United States and the nation. Praise God. Welcome, welcome. We pray that you can join us, folks. We have 138 leaders praying in different states in the United States, as well as over the nations in different countries in the nations. Praise God. Welcome to Global Awakening, folks. We are seeing the signs of the time that Jesus Christ will be coming soon. No man knows the day or the hour, but it's time for us to prepare. Jesus Christ is coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Praise God. So we are consecrating. We are turning aside our plates every Monday uh, until 7 p.m. We are fasting water, or if you're working, you can go through 2 p.m., Folks, if you have health issues, please consult with your doctor. So praise God, we're going to continue praying and uh, crying out to the Lord to have mercy upon the U.S. and the nations. Praise God, he's such a merciful God. Praise God, praise God. Welcome, welcome. I'm so, hallelujah, passionate about this call, folks, for God to bring revival and global awakening to the United States and the nations. And revival is simply turning the hearts of the people back onto the Father. Praise God through repentance, salvation. Um, praise God. Global awakening is different. And awakening is really a reformation of the culture. And I've been talking about the fact that God wants to reform seven areas or seven mountains of our culture. That's religion, arts and entertainment, media, family, education, government, Praise God, praise God, business, praise God. Jesus wants to reform the culture. And the reason these areas are important is because those who control these areas have the most impact on the culture. So we need Christians in government, Christians in hallelujah, hallelujah, or Supreme Courts. We need Christians in business to impact the culture. So we'll be praying over hallelujah, these seven areas. So I need you to touch and agree with me from wherever you are. And I'll also be just generally praying over your individual needs every Monday. You don't want to miss these. Praise God. God is going to break you through as well as to bring revival and reformation to our culture. Praise God. Praise God. And every Monday, I let you know that we're coming out of the book of Joel, folks. You need to get your word. This word is life. It's a sword. It's Rima. It's real. We need to get into our word. So we're going to look again at Joel 2. Please turn there in your Bibles. It's in the Old Testament. Joel 2. And it's a poem for God to bring revival, reformation, to heal and deliver the land in a time of crisis crises. So please turn there. It's an alarm that we're sounding and calling for corporate prayer so God can bring change and heal the land. Verse one says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness uh, as the morning spread upon the mountains. Praise God. If you then turn to verse 12, therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God for he's gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Verse 15, blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. My goodness, we see God is calling for even the children to touch and agree. And I say every week, folks, everyone can pray. Prayer is just a conversation with God. Now, if you are struggling with different areas of sin, I wouldn't 
recommend that you go binding principalities and binding the enemy because uh, prayer, that level of prayer can be very dangerous. The enemy will backlash against your finances, your family, but you can have a conversation with God. Just ask Jesus to do it. Father God, heal the land. Father God, bring people back to you. Father God, that's how you would pray if you're not in the right place in God. But anyone can pray, folks. It's a conversation. Cry out to God, even to help you with the strongholds that are in your life. Folks, fasting, first and foremost, draws us closer to God. When you give up that McDonald's, give up that that uh, fast food that you love, when you set aside your plate and sacrifice your Hallelujah, your appetite, God moves, God uh, brings you closer to him, God helps you with different areas you're struggling with, and he blesses you. You can lift up your own prayer request. Fasting brings power to your prayer. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God is sounding an alarm. God is sounding an alarm. We see the coronavirus has killed over 500,000 in the land. My goodness, riots, civil strife, everything has hit us all at once. And folks, it's just the beginning. It's time for us to come back to Christ, even though there's a vaccine. It's so much that's going to be happening until the United States and the nations fall on their knees and come back to God. He's the only one that can make the United States and the nations great. Praise God, when a country is in crisis, they have to come back to Jesus. In a country that departs from the Lord, judgment can hit the land. Folks, we need to come back to Jesus Christ. My goodness, my goodness, Father God, we're crying out to you today. Hallelujah, we're crying out to you today. Join us, folks, every Monday, if you are led to fast today, you can inbox me on our public Facebook page, WKDMI. Inbox me on our public Facebook page, or you can go to WKDMI.org and visit our contact page and let me know that you want to be a part of this prayer and fasting movement. We have so many leaders, churches, lay people, intercessors praying with us from all seven mountains. Praise God. Amen. So we are going to pray today, and I just want you to touch and agree with me as God gets ready to move. So Father God, we thank you today. We give you glory, honor, praise. We humble ourselves before you, oh God, in Jesus' name. We repent from every sin, known and unknown. We ask that you would cleanse, purify us from all unrighteousness. Oh Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness, grace, mercy, and loving kindness. It's better than life. We thank you, Lord, for everyone who's in the sound of my voice. Thank you, Shema Kashete, in Jesus' name, for the global apostolic Shemakashete, Global Awakening Apostolic Alliance. Shemakashete, thank you for those who will come on board and be a part of crying out and setting aside our plates every Monday. Oh God, we thank you, Shemakashete, for your goodness and grace. We thank you. You're an amazing and awesome God, Jesus Christ. We love you today. In Jesus' name, Lord, we repent for the sins of the United States, for the sins, hallelujah, of the nations, for the sins of every state represented on our prayer team and all 50 states and all the countries represented on our prayer team and all the nations. We repent. Shema Kashete for the ways we've left you behind. We repent, oh God, for abortion. We repent for gay marriage. Father, we love everyone, but you've said in your statute that this is against your law. So we pray for those who are led aside in homosexuality, Lord, that you would save, heal, deliver, set them free. We thank you, Father God. We uh in New York State, I repent for abortion. I repent, oh God, Shema Kashe for the sins in New York State for grief for pride, Freemasonry, idolatry, Father God, Shemaka, divorce, hallelujah, we repent for adultery, we repent, Lord, for the church, the sins in the churches, oh God, Shemaka, Shete, oh God, shade, heal first the church, and then let it flow out into the land, in Jesus' name, we're crying out to you corporately today, we're touching and agreeing, you said, oh God, to sound an alarm, to come, not with just our outer appearance, our garments, but with our hearts, so 
but we are crying out to you in spirit and in truth. Jesus Christ, heal this land. This is Jim Apostle God. Michelle Morrison. The Global Awakening Apostolic Alliance is an international prayer and fasting movement to bring repentance and revival to the U.S. and nations and to reclaim the seven mountains of influence in our culture for Jesus. Religion, media, arts and entertainment, education, government and business. The church must realize that when we lose our influence, we lose our culture. Bring revival and awakening to our nations, oh God. Scripture July holds verse 12 says, Therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. You, O oh God, have mercy upon the United States, have mercy upon New York City, Missouri, the nation. Verse Shema. 14, who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him? Lord, in Jesus' name, we continue to repent for the sins of the land. Say we find COVID-19, we put it in chains. Say we break every curse of death assigned to take out the nation. Healing, deliverance abroad in the nation. We release Chate and Lord revive us again. Bring revival, global awakening. To date, we have 113 leaders, 27 states, and 16 countries partnering in prayer. If you would like to join the fast and prayer movement, visit WKDMI.org and click the contact page and like our Facebook page, GAAA Global Awakening Apostolic. Revivalist Michelle Morrison has seen powerful revival moves of God, both in the U.S. and internationally. Thousands have been healed, saved, and delivered. Jesus opened the eyes of this blind man in an Indian revival crusade as Apostle Michelle prayed. You're seeing uh, uh, your finger. Shadow. Okay, when Jesus... Your shadow. You're seeing uh, your hand. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 My this man, born dumb, spoke for the first time as Jesus touched him while Apostle prayed. Hallelujah! 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 He can hear you! He can speak! He can hear! He can speak! Hallelujah! This boy, born dumb, spoke for the first time when Jesus used Apostle to pray. What up? What up? What up? Be speaking. What up? Louder. What up? What up? This lady was healed from a brain tumor in Lower Manhattan as God used Apostle and Revivalist Michelle Morrison. Let her go by the blood and power of the Almighty Living God. By the blood. She's being healed. That's the Holy Spirit all over her. She's not going to need this king. Total healing in every muscle, every tissue, every member, in every part of her body. Loose her. Let her go. Sickness and disease. To you. you don't need this. That's right. That's right. Look at her whole face. is changed. You can type into the Google search engine, Apostle Michelle Morrison, to see these incredible healing videos. Or visit WKDMI.org and click Revival Vision. She said, revive this land, bring awakening, Father God, in the business mountain, religion mountain, hallelujah, education, family, arts and entertainment, media, government, we call forth Christian Supreme Court justices, Christian legislators, Christian in every walk, of our culture and businesses, Christian millionaires. Lord, raise up millionaires, even within the sound of my voice. We claim that we are multi-millionaires, billionaires. Shema Kashet, and teach us, Lord, to tithe. Shema Kashet, to sow into your church, to sow into your ministry, because that is what the funds are for, so this gospel can go throughout the ends of the earth in this end time. Oh, God, Shema Kashet, 
in Jesus' name, we thank you. Yes, we'll get the French benefits, but Lord, convict every heart listening that they will sow into their local churches, sow into ministries that are blessing your kingdom, such as this one. Oh God, so the poor in Africa, India, the United States can receive the help. Oh God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that covers this prayer, the blood of Jesus Christ that covers Shemaka each and every every person listening in Jesus name we release revival in the land revive us heal the land oh God Shema draw the people back unto the father the hearts of the children back unto the father in Jesus name we thank you for billions of souls saved healed delivered locally nationally internationally Shema Maka Shete in Jesus name billions of dollars coming Shema into our ministry Shema Ka bank account Shema to advance your kingdom Shema and the gates of help cannot prevail Shema Jesus Christ is greater. Jesus Christ is stronger. We thank you, Lord. We take authority over principalities, wickedness, and high places. Lord, you said we battle not against flesh and blood. We battle against principalities, forces of darkness, rulers, Shemaka, Shete in Jesus' name. And we take authority through the blood of Jesus Christ over New York State, over the United States over the nations. We put every demonic principality in chains in Jesus' name that's releasing this coronavirus. We put it in chains in Jesus' name. Lord, continue to heal the land, heal New York City the 50 states, the nation, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord God, for billions of souls saved, Shema, internationally, locally, Shema, Shete, oh God, I'll pour your spirit on this earth, I'll pour, Shema, your Holy Spirit to convict the hearts and draw them back to the Father, Shema, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus Christ that covers, Shema, the business mountain, thank you for every business, bless, Shema, every Christian business, Shema, in global awakening, Apostolic Alliance, bless Shemaka, Shete, Shem, millions of dollars coming in to support your kingdom. Oh God, Shemaka, we're claiming it and receiving it. Shemaka, Shete, government, education, arts and entertainment, media, Shemaka, family, religion, business. Shemaka, we claim it for the kingdom of God. Shemaka, Shete, in this culture, the kingdoms of this world must become the kingdoms of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for the blood of the Lamb that destroys and defeats the attack of the enemy in Jesus name we bind the hand of the enemy over the United States and the nations we put every principality in chains the blood of Jesus Christ prevails Lord we come not through our own righteousness but through the blood the blood of the lamb is against you Satan the blood of Jesus Christ Jesus Christ all principalities he made an open show of death hell Haiti so release the United States release New York City release Shema Kashete every state every country every nation Shema Kashete we claim billions of souls release them, Shemaka revival, we release revival, Shemaka Shete, we interrupt every witch, wizard, warlock, meeting, covenant in the heavenly, Shemaka fire, Lord of Elijah, answer by fire, we disrupt them, Shemaka, we send confusion, division, destruction into the camp of the enemy, release Shemaka Shete, the United States, the nations, release God's people, release Shemaka Shete, we bind every stronghold in the church, every spirit of division in the church, Shemaka Shete, competition, jealousy, we put it in chains and we release unity peace love oh god shema come one of and the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail. And we release billions of warring angels. Warring angels go forth, which is swords drawn fight against everything that fights against the church of the most high God. And I cover, Lord, every family represented listening to this broadcast. Oh, God, Shema Kashete, you said in the end time, even as darkness, Isaiah 60, verse 2, even as darkness covers the earth, the glory of the Lord will arise upon his people. Oh God, bless each and every person within the sound of my voice. I call forth jobs. I call forth prosperity in businesses. I call forth new businesses. I call forth clients from the east, west, north, south, and all of our businesses. In Jesus' name, I call forth investments. Bless 1,000 fold return on all of our investments, stocks, crypto. We call it forth through the blood of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. I call forth Shema Christians impacting, infiltrating education, government, Shema Kashe family, Shema Ka marriage is blessed. We bind every spirit of divorce over marriages in Jesus' name. We bind the spirit of divorce in the land in Jesus' name. Bless each and every marriage you're listening. Lord, take them to new heights, new levels, Shema Kashete. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for rebellious children. We call them home. We call them save, heal, deliver, Shema Ka. We break every curse over our children in Jesus' name. Oh, God, Shema, I'm believing for each and every person within the sound of my voice. Restoration in our families, restoration with our mothers, fathers, children, Shema Ka, grandchildren, Shema Maka, Shete, oh, God, Shema Ka, heal the land, oh, Lord. We're crying out to you in one accord in corporate prayer, turning aside our plates, oh, Lord. Shema, Maka, continue to add those who are coming in spirit and in truth on global awakening apostolic alliance. We claim, Lord God, millions of souls, Shema Ka, joining forth in this prayer army, in this fasting and prayer, Joel's army, Shema, Shete, from the east, west, north, south, locally, nationally, internationally, and the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail. I put a hedge of fire protection around she, each and every person praying today, myself, Shema, Shema, to our homes, our families, we release the war angels in our homes, warn angels fight against everything that fights against us, warn angels, Shema Ka, Shete, go forth with your swords drawn, Shema Ka, Shete, in Jesus' name, oh Lord, we cry out for your mercy over the United States, save, heal, deliver, Shema Ka, this land, in Jesus' name, Shema in Jesus' name, and the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail. Shema kashete. In Jesus' name, we bless you, Lord. We magnify your holy and wonderful name. There is none like you. There is none above you. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Shema kashete. And Lord, I want to specifically cover the states that are in agreement with us. Shema kashete. We cover Virginia, New Jersey, Texas, Georgia, Hallelujah, Louisiana, New York, Missouri, Nevada, Florida, Michigan, North Carolina, South Carolina, Ohio, in Jesus' name, Massachusetts, Alabama, California, Oklahoma, Delaware, Connecticut, Missouri, Tennessee, Wisconsin, Indiana, the U.S. Virgin Islands, New Mexico, Maryland, Illinois, Indiana, we cover these countries, the United States, Canada, Bahamas, London, Kenya, India, Liberia, Nigeria, Uganda, Pakistan, Ghana, Zambia, South Africa, Sudan, Turkey, Madagascar, Shema Kashete, in Jesus' name, we remember our foreign brothers and sisters, oh God, Christians overseas, we bind every spirit of corruption in these foreign countries, in Jesus' name, we bind Shema Ka terrorist attacks, terrorist beheading of Christians and pastors, we we put that spirit of terrorism and change. Shema, ma kashete, in Jesus' name, we bind terrorist attacks over the United States. We cover our President Biden and our Vice President, Shema kashete, Harris, in Jesus' name. We cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ. We bind civil strife over the United States. We put it in change. Shema kashete, and we release. Shema kashete, Shema, ma ka, salvation, healing, deliverance. Shema, ma kashete, and the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail. Lord of Elijah, Shemaka answer by fire. Shem, we break every curse of witchcraft over our lives, over our families' lives, over each and every person that's listening. Shemaka, we put Shema every spirit of Jezebel. Shemaka, Shete in chains. Ahab, Shemaka in chains. Shemaka, Baal in chains. Every principality, Shemaka in chains. Shema from darkness. Shemaka, Shete in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Shema, Maka, Shete in Jesus' name. The gates of hell cannot and will not prevail. The blood of Jesus Christ prevails. We come not in our own goodness, but through the blood of the Lamb, and we blind the eyes and ears of the enemy from even seeing who's praying right now. The blood of Jesus Christ, Shema, can destroys every principality, force of darkness. Shema, Shete, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord God. We're believing for a harvest of souls in this end time. We're believing for billions of souls in this end time. Shema, Shete, and the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail. Raise up, Lord, pastors, leaders evangelist Shema Ka Shete Shema lay people each one reaching one who will reach billions of souls 
for you and our families, Shema and our community, Shema Kashete. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, we give you glory today. Bless each and every family within the sound of my voice. Lord, bless them going out. Bless them coming in. We bind sickness, disease, death, Shema We cancel the death angel over their lives. In Jesus' name, I release healing right now over each and every person that's listening or watching. In Jesus' name, we thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that covers them, oh Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ that defeats the plots and schemes of the enemy. The blood of Jesus Christ, we thank you. In Jesus' name, praise God. And if you're listening today and you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, just repeat after me. Father God, I come to you a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, just say it out loud. I believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And that's it. The Bible tells us you're saved. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Find a local church. There's so many churches online. You can watch our broadcast every uh, Sunday on Kingdom purpose tv at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time uh, mondays 1 30 p.m at kingdom purpose tv or the radio on mondays 6 to 7 p.m or you can also <laughs> hallelujah inbox me and inbox me at WKDMI on Facebook. That's our Facebook public page, WKDMI, or visit WKDMI.org. Praise God and click on contact and leave your information for prayer. We love you or to join this team, this prayer team. If you need prayer or if you need to join or want to join this team, this prayer team, we love you with the love of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ loves you folks. He has a wonderful plan for your life. Praise God. Until next time. Dr. Michelle Morrison has fulfilled the commission to missions noted in Matthew 25, verse 35. In the U.S., she has led several evangelical outreach endeavors in the prisons, hospitals, and shelters of New York City since 2005. Since 2009, Yes You Can Community and Economic Development Corporation, our Christian social enterprise, has helped many low-income communities by hosting economic development seminars, providing resources to low-income people, battered women, and previously incarcerated individuals. In addition, Yes You Can has fed and clothed thousands of low-income individuals in the United States. Since 2014, we extended these efforts internationally by feeding and clothing widows and orphans overseas, assisting with the education for poverty-stricken children overseas, and helped hundreds of churches in their efforts to spread the gospel. Matthew 25, verses 35 to 40. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you as a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go visit you? The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. If you are interested in making a financial contribution toward the vision of Yes You Can or World Kingdom Dominion Ministries, please visit wkdmi.org and click on the donate link on the donate page. You can also send donations to P.O. Box 981, New York, New York, 10008 and make checks out to YU.